Yes, yes, yes. Who person that Sarah? Could you come on up, please? And Michelle, can you go to the keyboard? Keyboard, and do you know how to advance the slide? Me. Yeah, you can hit it there. Yeah, that would be fine. All right, so that's what we're about to do now is a two-person lift. So I'm going to get underneath Allison's arms. Okay. And you notice in the picture there, he's grabbing onto the gate belt. Okay, I've actually never done that before. I'm going to try to see if it hurts Allison or not. But <laughs> typically the way to do it is you grab the forearm, go underneath her arms, and then cross over like this. So what I'm going to do is just have you cross your arms. And I'm going to try on the gate belt and see if that is going to be acceptable. All right, where should Sarah go? Underneath the leg. All right, so Sarah, you're going to get underneath your leg. And make sure you've got one uh, arm underneath her, or forearm underneath her thigh, okay. and not just on her legs, because that could stress the knees and whatnot. Right all right, and what we're going to do, and I want you all to do this too, is we're going to do a test lift first. Okay. We're just going to raise her up a little bit, put her back down, and make sure we're okay lifting her. Okay. And you let me know if the belt hurts when I do it this okay. way. Okay. All right. On three. And whoever's at the head, take charge. By the way, who should probably be at the head? The stronger one. The stronger, better looking one. Can we switch? <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, but she said, do we need to switch? <laughs> now, usually the taller and stronger person, if possible, will be at the head. You had to throw taller in, didn't you? <laughs> And the taller is because what, it's kind of awkward being up here because you have to kind of go around uh, the arm, uh, the push handle here. So it, it is a little bit awkward here. And actually, can you raise the bed up just a little bit so we don't pull it down? That's good. All right. Do so I have to come from the side or can I come from the front? Show me which, show me an alternate way that you would like to move. Okay. But I mean, uh, if she, she can't do like that, I understand that that's a problem, especially if I'm a guy, but... <laughs> and we're going over there. Right, but if she's relaxed, I mean, because I assume if she is completely, de I, I'm, this is just a question, if yeah. she's dependent, then she wouldn't be able to do that, so. And it's still going to be, we can try it so you can see how awkward that would be. Okay. Because you're going to lie her legs flat out. Like right, okay. So we can try it and see what happens. But let's do it the good way first. Okay. Right. <laughs> so let's do a test lift. Go ahead and cross your arms right here. All right, and on three. What do you think? Does that hurt? No. Okay. All right. Okay, this time <coughs> we're going to lift up and over. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to put her back into the chair. Okay. Okay, I'll tell you what, just to get positioned a little bit, let's do a test lift and move her back a little bit. And there's different ways you can handle this. Like I, sometimes I like to put one knee up here, uh, but you might have to put both legs down here. So there's different ways. Just make sure you're following the principles of good body mechanics, such as what? Don't twist. Yep, and being close. Okay. All right. You ready? On three. One, two, three. Okay, very nice. You want to try your way? Yeah. 